first off, John, can you tell us, I suppose it's been a, an interesting week for the club, um, the, the arrival of Neil Fenn. Uh, what were your thoughts on Fenn's arrival? Yeah, it's been good so far. Uh, we've been doing some solid training the last couple of days, so we'll be we'll be fit going into it, like you know. But uh, it's it's brought a, a boost to the to the club, like you know. Obviously, it's the the lads haven't been a, uh, you know, haven't been confident lately. So, but we're feeling confident going into this game now. And slowly go. Um, be a tough game now. Obviously, they've uh, got a few wins under the belt, like so. It'll be a tough game going into it. I know Neil's only had a couple of training sessions with you, but um, mm. what's he be kind of saying to you going into next Friday? It's it's all he's really hands on and John you know, is all about like playing football and, and things like that. So the lads are happy to John you know, to hear it, like you know. And, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been a great addition to the club, like you know, and I'm sure he's going to do very well here. Did you know much about Neil's kind of playing history before he arrived? I remember uh, it was a Greg Bulger used to tell me a few times that he like the best touch in football. <laughs> so I told him that, like you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, I heard he liked to play for Tottenham and everything like that, and obviously he was coaching uh, Longford and and uh, but yeah, no, uh, other than that, no, it's my first time meeting him, and I'd say it seems all pretty positive. And obviously, like his Longford team had a kind of renowned for attacking football, which kind of mm. I assume if he does that here, he's going to suit you onto the ground. Yeah, as me as a player, I, I like playing John with the ball. Obviously, at my feet the whole time. So, um, so over in England, the John Academy football, it was all John football based, like you know. Uh, with the feet, so um, but yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be good to see what uh, what happens now in the next couple of weeks. Has his well kind of given the squad a, a lift, I suppose, heading into Friday? Yeah, it has. Yeah, uh, he just wants everyone to play their own game and you know uh, be confident as always. And uh, as players, you know, we like to hear that, like you know. So yeah, is it a case now over the next couple of months that you're kind of playing to impress Neil for for next year? Yeah, well, obviously, I'm still on on the contract now at Rover, so um, hopefully, I can try. You, know, you never know see how well I play here and see what Stephen Bradley says up there about me if I do well then I don't know I could go either, either way like you know mm-hmm. so how have you reacted to the disappointment of I suppose going up to uh, Chicago in the cup last week yeah it was, a, it was a tough game well for me personally I wasn't <laughs> wasn't my best at all like you know um, um, yeah it was, it was a tough one to take like but um, yeah we're feeling confident now going into this one so all you can do is just you know, keep going for, for the next game and yeah. And uh, see what happens. Slugger over is never, I suppose, an easy team to play either. No, they're always a tough, game, uh, tough team to play against. Jump, big, strong lads, and they've they're on, been on a win streak now. Obviously, beating Limerick the, the other day, and uh, they'll be confident going into it. So, mm-hmm. so as players, like, what are your targets now for the rest of the season? Just try and finish the season as strong as we can. You know, uh, obviously, uh, with the with the new style of playing as well, if what Neil Finn uh, will bring. Um, yeah, just try and jump be better as players and get a good strong end to the season. Cheers, Yeah.